Now we'll see anaphylactic shock. This anaphylactic shock is a severe allergic reaction that we know severe allergic or hypersensitivity reaction. There may be chance of allergy to the food, allergy to the food or drugs or there is a chance of insect bite. So anaphylactic shock can occur because of any reason particularly to the allergy to the particular thing like food, insect bite, drugs. So basically it's a hypersensitivity re reaction which is very severe. So in this anaphylactic shock main mediator is the histamine. Main mediator is the histamine because histamine is responsible for this anaphylactic shock. So signs and symptoms particularly two things will be concerned hypotension and bronchospasm. Now this histamine is responsible for this hypotension and bronchospasm because histamine causes vasodilatation. So there is a chance of hypotension and bronchospasm. So main mediator is histamine. Then why not antihistaminics are the drug of choice? Why adrenaline is the drug of choice in anaphylactic shock? Means if there is a main mediator is histamine, so antihistaminic should be the drug of choice. But why it is not a drug of choice? Why adrenaline is a drug of choice? We'll see. Adrenaline, it is given intramuscularly to raise the blood pressure and to dilate the bronchi. And if the treatment is delayed, then you have to give this adrenaline slow intravenous injection if treatment is delayed and anaphylactic shock is developed. So adrenaline is given intramuscularly as a drug of choice to raise the BP and dilate the bronchi. Why not antihistaminics? We'll see. Why not antihistaminics? You can also give antihistaminics like chlorpheniramine which slowly antagonizes the effect of histamine by acting on the H1 receptors. You also give hydrocortisone which reduces the vascular permeability and suppress the antigen antibody reaction. So these three drugs are given but this still these antihistamines are not drug of choice. We'll see why. Now we'll, you can see physiological antagonism means if you give these antihistaminics they will act on H1 receptors but these H1 receptors are already occupied by the histamine because histamine is already released Histamine is already released and it will going to act on this H1 receptor means this H1 receptors are already occupied and if we give antihistaminics so first it have to displace that histamine and you have and this antihistamine is going to act on this H1 receptor so it will take time so that means it slowly antagonize the effect of histamine so it will take time now what does his uh, what does adrenaline do as we know this histamine by acting on H1 receptor it produces vasodilatation and bronchoconstriction by acting on H1 receptors. Now physiological antagonism, physiological antagonist of the system is adrenaline. By acting on beta receptors, beta 2 receptor it produces bronchodilatation to dilate the bronchi. It acts on the beta 2 receptor and vasoconstriction to raise the blood pressure. It acts on alpha receptors. Means these two drugs like histamine and adrenaline, two drugs act on two different receptors. Histamine acts on H1, adrenaline acts on adrenergic receptor. It will going to produce different effects on same physiological system. Like when histamine acts on H1 receptor, on the physiological system like bronchial smooth muscle, it will produce bronchoconstriction and this will produce bronchodilatation. Histamine by acting on H1 receptor it will produce vasodilatation but adrenaline by acting on alpha receptor it produces vasoconstriction. So it acts as a physiological antagonist by acting on different receptor and that's why adrenaline is a drug of choice in anaphylactic shock not antihistaminics because it will take time. It slowly antagonizes the effect of histamine and it will take time that's why it is not a drug of choice and adrenaline is a drug of choice in anaphylactic shock. Why? Because it acts as a physiological antagonist of histamine.